Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Nutribullet wants to inspire healthy living and making the transition to watching what we eat and how we train. One Nutri Blast a day can help make a big difference in getting all those vital nutrients. We lead such busy lives and keeping our energy levels up and staying focused can be a challenge. This afternoon, we have outdoor enthusiast Blake Dyson in the loft to give us some advice on the matter. Being someone who constantly pushes himself physically and mentally to inspire, support, and give hope to others. We're excited to have him in the loft with us today. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Now, you are somebody who, firstly, you know, you've just lived the most active life ever. And now you've developed the Love Our Trails initiative. What is that? So, I've kind of been pretty passionate about the outdoors most of my life. And um, over the last few years, I've spent hours or months, weeks on the mountains where I've noticed an increase in trail activity and yeah. with mountain biking growing, probably the fastest growing sport in the world, or one of the fastest growing sports in the world, and we've, like, up recognized, especially on our mountains, Table exactly. Mountain, that where there's an increase of feet and that we've had an increase in litter, we've had an increase in erosion, we recently had rock falls, and, um, and I've kind of been saddened by this experience. Exactly. Um, and not knowing what to do, and I've sent mails to Sam Parks and other organizations asking, what are we doing to protect it? What are we investing in it? And um, nothing's really come from it. And it was last year, early last year, I had a friend from Joburg that came down and I took him on the most amazing trail. Um, I don't know if you've ever done, it's uh, Cliff Corner. I have uh, done Cliff Corner actually. So with yeah. the chains and the gap, yeah. oh, it was a It's insane. <laughs> so I took my friend from Joburg, he's like obviously flat terrain in Joburg. And um, we went up and it was one of those perfect days and went over the top and we have amazing photographs. And, as we were coming down Platter Clip, it was like midday, and there were hundreds of people walking up, tourists, yeah. majority tourists. And we got to the rock in the middle, and everyone was hiding in, in the shady spot. And as I got there trying to go through, I noticed this rock just covered in people's names and litter. And, no. and my heart broke, and I couldn't even look at my friend. I was just like, what have we done? And um, walked down, and I was aware of all the graffiti on the rocks and the litter as we went down, and got home, and it just bothered me for weeks. And, a few nights later, I woke up in the middle of the night and I'm like, we can't point fingers at government anymore. We can't point fingers at businesses. And we, we have to stop asking, what are, what are we getting out of this? And we need exactly. to start asking, what are we doing for our environment, for the people around us? And so I, in the middle of the night, made a Facebook group. At that stage, it was called Love Our Trail or Save Our Trails, which are converted to Love Our Trails. And I just invited my trail friends to come and join for a cleanup. And, um, over that like, couple of weeks, I started investigating trail cleaning products and there's nothing in this country, so I had to import graffiti cleaners that are sustainable or user-friendly yeah. for mountains. And that, that kind of grew massively um, to the point that some big brands got on board, Sam Parks has slowly come on board, and we had about 80 people on a day help us clean the mountain. It wow. took six hours to clean that rock, just that one rock of graffiti, and we picked up over 18 bags of litter um, and so I documented this and I filmed like a little video clip and it went like viral in my little world. <laughs> and um, before I knew it, I had been approached from international companies to try and take this concept onto other trails. And so we created like a non-official movement that's yeah. kind of just gained traction. And um, one of my friends has just come back from the Himalayas where they're interested in implementing a similar thing there. Um, and we got some other exciting initiatives with some stuff happening in Khrabod. Oh, that's exactly. kind of this concept of Love Our Trails, is to be aware of what we're doing. And so it seems quite obvious to me, but you were nominated as an awesome South African. How does one get nominated for that? And how do you win? Because I'd really like to be an awesome South African. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I stood a chance of winning ever, um, but it was amazing to be nominated. So there's a gentleman by the name of Patrick who um, I think he met Rhea Manson and his wife on the beach one day and he's like, it's so weird, no one's like approaching you guys on the beach and they mentioned that when they go overseas they get bombarded with people wondering to meet them and, that, and in South Africa no one's really aware. Yeah. And so Patrick was like, well we have all these amazing South Africans doing amazing things but South Africans don't talk about them or see them. Yeah. And so he started this website and it's kind of grown and um, so someone phoned in to him and said, I know this guy doing cool things. And basically, over the years, I've got very involved in charity and doing things. And it was in 2011, I, I got invited by a professional athlete to take part in a 100-mile trail run. Wow. At that stage, I'd run 32, maybe 35 k's max. And um, I took part in this, and I made about 120 k's before I injured myself. 
but I learned so much from it. And that was all to raise money and um, awareness around a friend or now a friend that's recently passed called yeah. Letty um, around cancer. And at that moment, I realized how easy it is for us to make a difference and inspire and help others. Exactly. Um, and then she taught me a valuable lesson that we, that our health is our biggest gift and we have to embrace it and protect it and use it. And so from that day, I dedicated my health, vitality, mobility to driving change, making a difference. And, and so everything I do, every action, bit of work, my social life has to have some sort of effect. Um, Positive wow. effects, hopefully change someone's mindset or help someone in. And so that's led me to like adopting an orphanage and helping them. And I recently just got back from cycling across Malawi where we, um, whilst developing a sustainable cycling platform for Africa, um, exactly. bicycles are vital to Africa. So. You, are the, you really are an awesome South Africa. I think you mm -hmm. definitely should have won. <laughs> now we're running out of time, but while I have you here, I also love, love, love trail walking. But I mean, some of those table mountain paths are really long and sometimes in the heat or even in the cold, it's quite a harsh terrain if you're not prepared. Now, one thing I think it's important to maintain energy. So you're going to make me a YouTube blast to show me how to maintain all of that energy while I'm trail walking. Would you mind? No, let's go. Thank you. So this is the perfect morning Nutribullet. Um, Nutri-Blast. We, Nutri-Blast. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to start with our bananas. These are slow-releasing carbs, ideal for um, a good or a long trail run. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, ice, always have a cold um, drink in the morning. Yeah, I like Nothing. it quite icy. Perfect, yeah. go wild with that. Um, and then we're just going to throw everything in. So we got some whey protein, some cinnamon. Yeah. I'm not very great at that word, <laughs> but we'll get that right over time. Um, our ch chai seeds. Chai seeds. They're really cool. They actually also swell throughout the day. That's why they call that miracle plant or ah. seed. Some milk or, and our double espresso oh, or great. coffee. My favorite. Um, and that should give us loads of energy to start the morning. Okay, do I want to blast this for you? Please. That'll definitely give me energy, that double espresso. <laughs> okay, sure. and blast. Amazing. Nice. I think, I don't know, probably, probably 30 seconds, that should be good. All yours. Brilliant. Thank you so much. You've definitely inspired me today to get out on the mountains more, but to yeah. be conscious of what's happening around me. It's such a pity that now it's in fashion to be, you know, outdoors and trail running and trail hiking, but it's a pity it's doing damage to our mountains. hundred percent. I think it's something that we should be more aware of in everything we do in our exactly. day-to-day -day life of exactly. our impacts and what's around us. Great. There we go. Well, thank you for this. Thank you. I can't wait to get out there in yeah. nature with my new night. Yeah, you might have to flavor. go straight after this. Mm. Oh, that is Yummy. so good, because none of the flavours are too overwhelming. No, and I quite enjoy the coffee. Mm, very much so. Mm, that's Cheers. a good one. <laughs> now, for many more delicious and healthy recipes, click on NutriBullet.co.za and start leading that healthy lifestyle along with NutriBullet. After the break, it's time for Winner Home on Afternoon Express, so stay right where you are.